I guess you read the title, Don't Yell at My Dog. Well, let's get right into it. The other day, oh, leave it. The other day when we went to Bobby Mackey's to uh, videotape the haunted bar and nightclub, on the way home from there, we stopped at a pet store. We wanted to look for something to basically keep him from trying to get in the front seat. Yes, my puppy's still being backseat trained. That way my wife will start riding up in the front. I should have started training him doing this months ago. But anyway, we're going through the pet store and there was a lady in there. Now, Kit, he does very well in size stores. He does. Uh, I have to say, I've been very lucky on that. I do have him trained, and what are you sniffing at? Where he will stay by me and listen to every one of my commands. My commands are not just for the word of mouth. I use hand signals. Every time I want him to sit, I go like this. When I want him to get up, I go like this. He knows these commands, he knows the hand signals. Couldn't find what we was looking for, so we was over there looking at the toys, yeah. Like my puppy needs more toys to destroy in seconds, but we still do it. Lady comes up beside us and says, oh, how old is your dog? My wife says, 10 months old, you know. Oh, he's just a puppy. I said, yeah, he's still in training. You know, and the normal question is, what kind of puppy is he? I see he has Labrador, and can't you turn me in a whole circle, Bubby? <laughs> yes, and we was like, yes, he's part Labrador, and uh, the other part is supposed to be Shepherd, German Shepherd. Which one day, guys, we're going to get a DNA test on him. By the way, the microphone mod I'm using right now is my older one. My new microphone mod is still on my other camera, which is on the gimbal. I still have to do all these videos on edit. In other words, I got to edit them all up yet, including this one. So, you know, we're having small talk, and Kit is following every one of my commands. You know, I'm going to give one here in a second. Hey, Kit, sit. Good boy, stay. Now, I usually tell him sit and stay, and I can go do whatever I want, and I usually have him a treat. Stay. Good boy. So he's standing right next to him. Sit. Sometimes he'll break command, but he didn't that day in the store. So the lady is talking to Angie, which is my wife, in case you guys didn't know that. Instead of me basically using the word for command, can Kit stay? We was going to walk a little bit, so I went like this. I went, which means he could get up from a sit and forward, you know? Walk with me. I gotta be blah 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 blah. I gotta be careful where I'm recording that. There's children here at the park, and I don't like to I don't like to record around children. Well, anyway, I'm about five feet away. Kid is at a sick command, and the lady asks my wife what's his name, and she says Kid. He's like she's like Kid, come. He didn't budge. <laughs> that was news to me, actually, guys. You know, he actually stayed in my command. I love to tell you he does this every time, but we're still working on that. So, she comes up right up to him, like, her, and just kind of like towers over him and tooks her hand and start rubbing both the ears. You're such a good boy, and he backed away. His tail went between his legs, he got scared. I said, ma'am, Try it again, but this time try it with one of his treats. You know, let him come to you. I don't need the treat. And Kit's standing up, and next thing I know, she's screaming at Kit like, Sit! Sit! Right now! You sit! We're talking loud too, guys. I'm like, what the hell? I said, you don't scream at my dog woman! The lady looked at me and says, I know what I'm doing, sir. I am a dog trainer. I said, I don't give a damn if you're the President of the United States. You don't yell at my dog. Nobody yells at my dog. And for your information, I am the only master of this dog. Well, my wife is too, but it depends who has him on the leash. I'm the main master. I said, you don't yell at him. What is wrong with you? Kid does this thing. Hey, Kid, stay. Hey, Kid, stay. He does this thing when he gets nervous. His tail goes between his legs and he'll back up a little bit. And he wants to see if you're actually playing with him. At least I'm thinking that's what it is. And he'll give out a few little <laughs> like that. 
because he's confused. He's never been yelled at before. I told that lady, I said, we don't even yell at him. She's like, oh, you mean to tell me you've never been frustrated with him? I said, lots of times. But that's when I said, Kit, we need a timeout. You and I. Lady informed me to get your commands across. You may have to raise your voice. Very high pitch. I said, no. Nah. If you are a dog trainer, you may train your dogs like that. I do not. I try to use a calm voice because he sees any excitement in my voice. He's not going to mind. No, and plus, <laughs> when I do play with him and I get a little excited, my boy's like, Kit, come here, come here. He gets a little bit, well, see, one, two right there. He gets a little bit, like, jumpy. And Kit was following every one of my commands. Needless to say, she didn't pet the kid anymore. She left the store a little butt hurt, and I hope like hell she was. I don't care who you are, you don't yell at someone else's dog, especially. It's, it doesn't matter if they're a puppy or not. You don't do that. You know, I'm not going to get into the part how to approach a dog, because a lot of people do not know. I didn't know how to approach a dog that was possibly, well, I told you the story. I tried to have a service dog come with me back about two or three years ago in Walmart, and it would not do it and angie's like michael you're not supposed to do that well guess what i never tried it from that point on i am training kit to be an emotional support dog he's about halfway there we still got to stay stay we got a lot of training yet to do i got him to the point where he's walking on the pavement right next to my side i got him to the point he will sit and stay every well most of the time okay you got a good potty he even lets me know when he has to go potty at home. There's a lot of things I still need to work on. I will get to that when I make that video. But I am his only, don't like to call myself master. I'm his daddy. I suggest the commands to Kit. And to have a total stranger to come up out of nowhere and start yelling at your dog, really? Yes, it pissed me off. The young guy that was at the register that worked at the store kind of heard everything that was going on and we did buy a, <laughs> a bone for a heavy chewer by the way it's gone already it didn't last through the night and um he says uh they're nervous some people right i said i i was a little bit lost i don't know what the heck was coming off there she just started yelling at my puppy uh, and the guy looked at me and kind of went like this, cuckoo, cuckoo. I said, well, I don't want to say anything like that because that's rude, but you don't yell at someone else's dog. I mean, sitting there screaming, sit, lay, you, sit. I mean, we're talking loud, y'all, loud. He may not be the smartest dog in the world. And yes, sometimes he doesn't listen to the sit and stay command. And yes, he's still a puppy. Yes, he's 10 months old. But he's my son. He's my baby. And I don't care who the hell you are, you don't yell at my dog. I don't care who you are. Nobody yells at my puppy. And when he gets out of the puppy stage and he's eating some sticks. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, kid. When he gets out of the puppy stage, he'll be a dog. And you still don't yell at him. Well, let's be fair here. If I've seen somebody with another dog on a leash, will I tell their dog to sit and stay? No, I will not. Their, well, I hate to use this word, their master will do that. And before I approach a dog, I ask permission, and then I let the dog come to me. If the dog never comes to me, then I don't approach that dog. Well, these lady, this lady should have known this. If she is a trainer, why did I do that? Why do people do that? <laughs> I just did it anyway, right? If she is a trainer, she should have known better. And to yell at a puppy? I mean, Kit was already broke. Okay, I already had him out of the command. As we was going to get ready to go on down and look at some more toys on the other side. So I went like this. I went... I mean, he's up, and then I usually give the command forward. And no sooner I took two steps away, she's like, Kit, come, come to me, come. And I had Kit sit, and then she hollered at him again, Kit, come, 
He wouldn't break them in. He would not. Then he gets up and he gets behind my legs because she's yelling at him because he's scared now. And get sit, sit, get sit right now, sit. Now I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why the hell are you yelling at my dog, lady? All right, guys, this is pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this is set up right because I got a lot of wind right now. That wind, as you can see, it blowing in my beard. <laughs> it's going pretty good. So I want to know when post how well my modifications were to this mod, this microphone mod on my GoPro. Yeah, <laughs> they seemed to do pretty well when we was at the uh, Bobby Mackey's. I, well, obviously you've seen that video because I edited it up yesterday. All right, guys, until next time, come on, let's get out of here. Leave the comments down there. Has anybody ever done that to your dog? And I hate to ask to leave this comment, but would you do that? I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't because I would almost guarantee you wouldn't. I know some of you definitely wouldn't. All right, guys, till next time, come on, let's get out of here. I'm going to try to get another couple more laps in with him and head home. We'll see you next time. Maybe the next video will be about how far I am on his training. Yeah, maybe. Come on, I'm out of here.